should you get your paper remarked. Let's break down when it might be worth considering and when it might not be, and also talk about priority remarks and how they can benefit you as well. Now, this subject can be quite a touchy one. There is no right or wrong answer as there are risks and there are also possible gains to be made too. I'm gonna to start with something really important though. Do not get your paper remarked without a teacher seeing a copy of the paper first. They can request to look at it and by doing so, they can advise whether it's actually worth it and it reduces the risk of your grade going down, which can happen if the original examiner is seen to have been too generous. And this is what I mean when I say it's risky. And now let's talk about subjects like maths and sciences. In these subjects, answers are generally right or wrong. The marking schemes are very clear, so the likelihood of a significant change in your grade after a remark is pretty low. If you're just a few marks away from the next grade, it's worth discussing with your teachers. For example, examiners have to work within a tolerance, meaning they can generally award a mark above or below what the actual mark should be before they get frozen out of marking. Meaning that if your examiner was a mark out on lots of questions, then it could of course be significant to your final mark. This, as I said though, is probably unlikely and actually it might be that they were more generous too and your mark and your grade may end up going down. For this reason, again, I would suggest speaking with your teachers. They can look through and advise you, as I said. We also have more subjective subjects like English, history and other essay based subjects. And this is where you might think a little more carefully about your options. These subjects involve more interpretation and analysis, so the marking can be more subjective. If your marks are just two or three points away from the next grade, it might be worth considering a remark. I personally wouldn't if it was slap bang in the middle of a grade because it's unlikely you'll go up by a massive amount of marks as there's lots of training involved in becoming an examiner as well as sneaky questions within the marking series that are designed to check up on examiners marking accuracy anyway. My personal opinion on all these subjects would be if your next step depends on it, if you quite literally can't get onto your course in college or university and you're pretty close to the boundary, maybe it's worth a try. However, if you're on your course and there's no real gain or loss to be made other than the literal grade going up or down by one, it perhaps isn't worth you spending your money. Sometimes you've just kind of got to swallow your pride a little bit. So anyway, if you're still watching and do want to proceed and it has to be your decision, here's what you should do. First of all, check how close you are. If you're within a few marks of the next grade boundary, a remark could potentially make a difference. Secondly, get your teacher to request the paper as soon as possible. From results day, you'll have about a week to request a priority remark. And I'll tell you what the difference is between remarks later. Now, before that week is up, your teachers will need to request a priority copy of the paper so they can look through the marking first to make sure it's actually worth getting a remark. And only then would I request a remark. And thirdly, this is an important one understand the risks. Remember, marks can go down as well as up, so make sure you're comfortable with that possibility. It can also cost around 50 to 70 pound for a remark, and while some of you might be lucky enough to be in a school that will fund it for you, with the way that education budgets are at the moment, it might be that this cost falls on you and your family. So for this reason, it can be risky. Next up, I want to talk about the types of remarks available to you, and there are three. There's a clerical recheck, a review of marking, and a priority review of marking. A clerical recheck is sort of like a quick admin check of the scores. The person looking over it will quite simply check every page has been marked and that every mark has been accounted for in the final figures and grades. This might be useful if you've requested a copy of the paper and notice that they're not adding up correctly, or if generally the final grade just doesn't seem anywhere near to what you and your teachers know you can do. This is the cheaper option at usually about £10. Then you've got a standard review of marking, or what you might call just a remark. When you opt for this, a second examiner will of course take a look through and check that the original marker was fair and accurate. They can alter these to go up or down. This can be expensive though at around £50 and it can take time. Now the last thing I want to talk about is priority remarks. I'm going to start this off with the fact that you've probably guessed it, this is the most pricey option, around about £60 generally. This generally only is available to you if a place at higher education depends on the grade you get. So if you're a GCSE student, stop listening. So if you're waiting on a university place or another higher education provider and your grades are crucial for meeting the requirements of this offer, a priority remark can be a game changer. 
This service speeds up the remark process, ensuring you get your grades faster, and it can be critical, obviously, for confirming your place. Like I said before, you only have about a week to decide if you want this done. So you, of course, need to be quick. So ask your teacher to request a copy of your paper quickly. They can check through it to see if it's worth requesting a priority remark, and then you'll have a good idea on whether it's worth actually spending the money. So the benefits of a priority remark are there. You can get faster results. You'll get your grades quicker, which is essential if you're waiting on a university place. You've got peace of mind knowing that your remark is being processed as quickly as possible, which will reduce that stress and uncertainty and then meeting deadlines as well. Universities often have strict deadlines for confirming places. So a remark really ensures that you have the chance to beat those deadlines too. Ultimately, the decision is yours, but getting advice from your teachers and considering how close you are to the next grade can help you make a really informed decision. If a priority remark can help secure your place at higher education, it's definitely worth considering. So stay positive no matter what, and remember that one exam doesn't define your entire future. So good luck on results day. If you have any questions or need more advice, leave a comment. We're here to support you every step of the way.